there's a new active region that's rotating into Earth view, and it is brightening up the sun. Will there be solar flares in your future? Those stories are more in the news this week. Activity on the sun has really picked up this week. All eyes are on a new region that's rotating into Earth view off of the sun's east limb. And this region has put on some beautiful displays, even firing some solar flares before we saw it rotate into Earth view. And it's been gorgeous watching it on the limb. It's also boosted the solar flux quite a bit. So you amateur radio operators and emergency responders, you should be enjoying some decent radio propagation on the bands right now, especially for a solar minimum sun. And along with a couple other active regions, that we have, you're probably going to be enjoying some decent propagation for the next two weeks. Meanwhile, we have a remnant coronal hole that's rotated into the Earth strike zone. That has boosted us up to unsettled conditions, which is great news for you GPS users, especially at low latitudes. It's kind of stabilizing the upper atmosphere a bit for you and helping to keep some of the turbulence and stuff down so you get some good reception. Anyway, we're actually going to be watching these regions rotate into Earth view. We've seen a couple mini uh, solar storms being launched. Don't know if they're going to hit Earth, but we're sure going to stay on our toes. Switching to our M-flare threat meter, you can see we've been extremely low when it comes to the X-ray flux and there by proxy the solar flux. And that's what it means to have essentially a spotless sun for an extended period of time. But all that has changed starting the 22nd. You can see here this is when that new active region started rotating into Earth view off the sun's east limb and it started popping flares that we could see even when it was still kind of behind the limb. It's now popped a C-class flare and it's still not totally into view yet. And you can see that uh, X-ray flux floor has risen. The solar flux has risen right along with it. That's why you amateur radio operators and emergency responders are now enjoying some better propagation on the bands than you've seen in quite some time. So we're going to hope this trend continues and we're going to watch this thing as it continues rotating into view to see whether it might actually grow in to become an M-flare player. Switching to your solar storm conditions, you can see we've actually been pretty quiet over the past couple weeks. And this has pretty much been the story. We're getting hit by some fast solar wind that's really not that fast. And so it'll bump us up to unsettled conditions and then bump us back down. We never really make it to active conditions or even storm levels, which would bring Aurora down to mid latitudes. So it's been a little frustrating for you Aurora photographers, I know. And it will continue like this over the next seven to 10 days until we actually get hit by some fast wind from a much bigger coronal hole that brought us a, a moderate level solar storm the last time it came around. So we'll keep our fingers crossed that you're going to get a good aurora show. Meanwhile, you GPS operators are actually loving this, especially at low latitudes, because this kind of unsettled activity actually helps make GPS reception better. So what else does the sun have in store for us this week? Well, this is Stereo A. It's our backside monitor. You can see here's Earth, here's the sun, and here's Stereo A staring at the sun from behind. And that bright region you see in the center of the sun's disk, that is the new active region that's just rotating into Earth view now. And if you watch it closely, you can see it was actually firing solar flares on the sun's backside before it even came into Earth view. So we are very excited about this region and can't wait till it rotates more into our view so we can get a better look to see whether or not it might actually become an M-flare player and maybe even cause a radio blackout or two. We'll have to see. Meanwhile, you can also see just below that region is that dark coronal hole. This is the coronal hole that gave us a moderate level storm about two weeks ago. And it's positioned itself now so that in about another 12 days, it has a chance to do exactly the same thing. Switching to your solar storm conditions and aurora possibilities over the coming week, we are in the middle of that fast wind from that remnant coronal hole that's rotated into the Earth's strike zone. So that fast wind really isn't all that fast. At high latitudes, NOAA is expecting unsettled conditions with about a 30% chance of a minor storm and even a slight chance for a major storm. At mid latitudes, we are also expecting unsettled conditions, but only with about a 10 to 15% chance of a minor storm. And these conditions should last for the next couple days before things quiet down a little bit, but it probably won't get much below unsettled conditions. We're kind of expecting that through the end of the week.
Switching to your solar flare and particle radiation storm outlook over the coming week. Oh my goodness, we have solar flux levels back in marginal for radio propagation. You amateur radio operators and emergency responders, you probably don't even care that you're getting a little extra noise on the bands from all the solar flaring. You're so happy to just have decent propagation on Earth's day side. Now the good news is these conditions will likely continue over the next two weeks as that region rotates all the way across the sun before things kind of fall back down into poor conditions for you guys. Now, this new region, we don't know its magnetic configuration well enough yet to know whether or not it's going to grow up to become an M-flare player. And guaranteed, we are going to be watching it very closely because it just has a chance. So the space weather this week is really picking up. We have three bright regions on the Earth-facing Sun right now, one of which is actively flaring. Now this region hasn't become an M-flare player yet, but we are watching it very closely, because if it does, it could mean radio blackouts. But meanwhile, you amateur radio operators and emergency responders, you should be enjoying some boosted propagation on this, the Earth's day side while this region is in view. Now you GPS operators, you're also enjoying some decent reception uh, due to the unsettled conditions from all of this kind of pockets of fast wind that's not really bringing us up to storm levels. So you should be able to enjoy that, especially at low latitudes. As long as you stay away from the dawn dust terminators, that's where things may get just a little bit dicey for you. Now your aurora photographers, well, as far as you're concerned, you're going to have to deal with these unsettled conditions easily over the next 10 to 12 days. But if you can hang out that long, we might just be able to bring you another solar storm. I'm Tamitha Scove. Thank you for watching.